Now what's good, YouTube? As you can see by the title, I'm going to be giving you questions you should ask her. Now in this video, I'm going to be giving you four questions that I feel like you should ask her, especially if you want to get to know her a little bit more and just want to get deeper on it than just the general basic level, right? Because I know a lot of us, we literally fail at asking questions. We don't know what to say most of the time. And to change that, <laughs> you got to literally just know what to ask. So these are some questions that I would ask, honestly. So starting with number one, what's something that you wish people would know about you? What's something that you wish people would know about you? I say ask this question because a lot of guys literally fail to ask. It's a lot of stuff, right? There's a lot of things that people been through. There's a lot of situations that people been through. And people genuinely just want to talk about their story. They want to talk about themselves. So if you can get her to talk about herself and literally see where she's been or why she moved the way she is or why she carry herself the way she do, you will start to understand her a little bit more. A lot of guys always ask her, why she always mean to me? Why she always walking around with an attitude or something like that? It might be a reason that she got that attitude, truthfully. You never really took the time to ask. And a lot of guys never ask this question. A lot of people have different talents and stuff that you would never know about. Me, for instance, I could backflip, I could rap. But it's like people don't ask them questions. People don't want to get to know you for real. But it's just like if you want to get to know her and really just put yourself in a different position than everybody else, ask this question especially if you want her to be your girlfriend if you want this girl to be your girlfriend you have to ask questions you ask that you have to ask the hard questions first if you don't ask the hard questions first it's just like it's gonna be a surprise every time some pop up you're gonna be thinking this person just constantly changing but the whole time this person always been like this this person ain't changed this person ain't changed up this always been this person you just haven't took the time to actually understand that and see. You always want to wonder why mm, they get a little attitude every time you, you say something or ask something. It's because they've been through something nine times out of ten. So I ask her, what's something that you wish people knew about you? Because I know for a fact if somebody asks me this, I'll say that I wish that people knew that I was just like a heartful person. Like really just... If I mess with you, if I look at you as family or you in my inner circle, like, I genuinely look at you as somebody that I would ride for. Like, until the wheels fall off, if you needed me for any situation, I'm there. I love her, and I literally put myself in situations because of the people that I love. You could tell me right now that you're ready to go fight 10 people. I'm by your side for all them 10 people. Win, lose, or draw, I'm out there, and we work it. We will get somebody down with us. We're not ready to sit there and get work. No, somebody is coming down with us. I'm not letting you go out there to battle by yourself. If I look at you as a brother, if I look at you as, if I look at you as family, I'm I'm riding into the wheels full of love, 100. percent No homo. <laughs> but yeah, that's number one. Number two, what gets you out of bed in the morning? I like this question right here, right? Because it shows you if this girl is goal-oriented, if she's motivated. Really, it just shows what the person actually wants to do. Do the person just want to sit around, lay around all day, lay up under you? Like me personally, I know I can't sit around somebody that's just laid up all day. I have to be around people that's goal-oriented. Because if not, that energy is going to wear off on me. And I'm going to be like, yo, bro, why am I so lazy? Why don't I want to post a video? Why don't I want to get to work? Why don't I want to put the work in now? That's what I'm going to be asking myself. I'm going to be thinking to myself like, bro, everybody around you is not working to what they want to do. You're the only person working towards what you actually want to do in life. You need to change your circle. You have to ask her these things to see what she wants to do in life. I'm not saying everybody has everything figured out because best believe we making it up as we go. Day by day as we wake up, we're literally making life up. It's trial and error every single day. So nobody has it figured out yet, but it's just like what motivates you and what pushes you to keep going. Because a lot of people, once they lose that motivation, it's, they have no purpose to live. And you need to find purpose to live to actually keep going. And so you can stand out from everybody else. 
Because everybody out here is doing the same thing. But what drives you to be like, you know what? I'm going to make sure I'm at the top of my game every single day. Right? I say I'm the best life coach because guess what? I know I'm motivated and I'm determined to make a change within my life and make a change in somebody else's life to make sure they better. Better than I was. They Maybe they don't have to wait till they in the 11th grade to peak. Maybe they don't have to wait till they in 11th grade to start hitting the gym. They can start that now. They can start caring about building themselves up now. Find out what gets them out of bed in the morning so you can be that factor and be like, no way, if they slacking one day, you can be like, yo, you remember you told me that you wanted to get this done? You remember you told me that you wanted to work towards this goal? Why you laying down? Why you, why you being lazy? Come on, there's things that gotta be done. We got a purpose, and we working towards that purpose every single day. So ask them. Ask them, it's okay. This brings me to my next point. Number three. What's the signs? Now, when I say what's the signs, I mean, what's the signs of you not being okay? What's the signs of you distancing yourself from everybody around you? What's the signs so I know that something is not going on with you? That something is not right with you? Especially if you're talking to somebody, I feel like you need to know these things, especially in friend groups, right? If you feel like your friend is always coming around, but then they decide to just stop hanging with you or stop being around people, stop going to class, stop going to work, and just in their room all day, something is wrong. And a lot of people don't understand social clues to be like, know what, yeah, something wrong with my, with my friends, so I need to go check on them, I need to go see if they okay. You could be that person to actually save your friend's life or save that person's life by asking, this, asking them this question. What's the sign that you're not okay? How do I know when something is wrong with you? How do I know something is out of the ordinary? It's a judgment-free zone. I, whatever you say is between us, and I'm going to just make sure you're okay in the long run. You can always hit me up. You can always talk to me. I'm somebody that you can hit up if you ever need anything. You got to get them comfortable with you. You want to get them comfortable with you. So ask that question. What's the signs that you're not okay? So you can make sure that you are that factor in their life. That play an important part. Now this, this brings me to my last question, right? Last conversation started, right? How has your parents affected your views on love or relationships? A lot of people, they get the way they move in relationships from their parents. They see their parents go through trial and error. They see their parents break up. They see one of their parents outside in the field rather than just being committed. Ask them this question so you know if a relationship is something that they're looking for or are they just looking to have fun. This can save yourself a lot of trouble. A lot of guys sit there and wonder why this girl never wants to be with them, why this girl never wants to spend time with them. She don't know how to, honestly. You can sit there and try to fix it all you want to, but unless she's mentally prepared to change it, there's no possible way that you can sit there and do that. It's something that she's constantly used to seeing. You know how when you're in the hood, right? You always seeing negative things. It's hard to leave the negative things alone when it's something that you're used to. When your environment puts you in a situation to constantly see it. You have to be that guy to be like, know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask her this question. So that way I can know if she's a match for me. Are you looking for a relationship? Do you want a situation? What you looking for? Because at the end of the day, if you want this to be your partner, if you want this to be your friend or somebody you know, you got to know these things. That way you can save yourself from getting hurt in the long run. You don't want to sit there getting hurt just because you failed to ask a question. Just because you failed to ask, what you looking for? Now you over there sad because she ain't talking to you no more. She ain't hitting you up no more like she used to. She been knew she ain't want a relationship. You just didn't ask the question. You would have been okay or she would have just said, yeah, it's just a little situation. Shit, we ain't getting serious. We could lay up from time to time. We could, yeah. But instead, you decided to sit there and just go with the flow. Nah, save yourself. Don't sit there and go with the flow. Ask these questions.
that's it for this video. I need you to lock in. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. And go ahead, drop some questions that you feel like you should ask when you're talking to somebody. Because I need game myself. I be needing game myself, fellas. So go ahead, put me on. I'm out.